when the Buddha explained karma, he said two things that seem on the surface very strange. One is, there is what is given, and the other is, there is mother and father. But in both cases, the message is very similar. It's because we have choices that giving has meaning, and that we have a debt to our parents, and a debt to all those who have been helping us, a debt of gratitude. So even though as we're meditating, we're meditating alone. No one else can do the meditation for us. We have to remember the fact that we're here means that we have a lot of debts. Because there were people who chose to help us, even our parents. There are cases we know that parents don't want an extra child, and here comes a child. But they had the choice. They could have aborted the child, they could have snuffed it out, but they didn't. In Thailand, when a young man is about to be ordained, there's a long chant about the debt that he has to his parents. I've heard these chants go on for two hours. And for a good one hour and forty-five minutes, it's the mother's pregnancy woes. The fact that you moved into somebody's body and took that person's blood and flesh and they had no choice in who you were. We tend to forget that. So it's good to remember that however good our parents were, however deficient they were. Still, we owe our lives to them. As the Buddha said, they introduced us to the world. And so if they've passed away, dedicate tonight's meditation to them. If they're still around, think thoughts of gratitude. And think about how you might respond to their goodness. The Pali term, katanyu, means having a sense of what was done. Gadawedi means having a feeling that goes along with that sense, the feeling of wanting to repay. And if nothing else, wanting to carry on the goodness, whatever goodness we've learned from our parents, from our teachers, we realize they had the choice to help us or not. And if we have gratitude for that, it will inspire us to be helpful to others. to choose to be helpful in cases where we see that it's going to be beneficial. So to have the strength to be helpful, we meditate. It's not the only reason why we meditate, of course, but it is one of the reasons. There's that picture of Theravadins as being selfish and concerned only for themselves. But when you read about the Buddha's explanations of the different motivations we might have, for wanting to practice. One of them is that the, those who have helped us will benefit. If we gain any of the noble attainments, the benefits go back to those who helped us. This is a principle. Goodness spreads around. Happiness spreads around. It doesn't have clear boundaries. There, there is the happiness of the world, which does tend to have clear boundaries. Somebody gains something usually means somebody else had to lose it. A gain in status means somebody else didn't get that particular status. But in the goodness of the Dharma, nobody loses. When you practice generosity, when you choose to give, okay, you benefit. Your mind gets more expansive, and you realize that you're not a slave to your selfishness. And of course, the people who receive your gift benefit as well. Same with virtue. There are a lot of people out there who are, are very happy that you're not breaking the precepts. Otherwise, you'd be oppressing them one way or another. 
people, beings. And of course you benefit. And with the meditation, the fact that you're getting your mind under some control means that you're going to be the primary beneficiary. But of course it's going to spill out to other people. If you have less greed, anger, and delusion roaming around in your mind, the less they're going to go out and bite other people. This is part of the, the Buddha's genius, was realizing that happiness can be found in such a way that the fact that you make yourself happy increases the happiness of others. So when you think of the goodness that has been done for us, one of the desires should be to pass it on. We can repay those who helped us. That's good if they're not around to repay. And we pass it on to somebody else. This is a way in which our goodwill becomes more expansive. Because we think there is this network of goodness. And it's not something that's naturally there. It's, it's there because of a choice. Remember, katanyu, a sense of what was done. What was done was chosen. Somebody chose to do something good. They didn't have to. It wasn't built into their nature. It was a choice. And when you appreciate that, you realize, okay, you have the choice to do something good as well. And you don't want that goodness to disappear from this world. There seems to be so much that's moving in the wrong direction in the world. People are getting more and more divisive. So the best way to counteract that is to try to continue this network of what goodness has been done so far, and make sure it doesn't die out. And remember, it is a choice. So try to be wise in choosing how to pass on that goodness. We have goodwill for everybody. There's no reason for any restraints on a goodwill. In terms of our generosity, there's a limitation on our strength. If you're going to be generous with material things, there'll be a limitation there. There'll be limitations on your knowledge. The things you have to share you do have their limitations. So you're trying to choose the best way to be generous. But try to keep that goodwill going, even in cases where you can't help other people, still have goodwill for them. Because maybe there, someday there will be the possibility that you can, or that they can help you. So think of goodness as a choice. After all, that's why the Buddha brings up these topics in the context of karma. He's making the point that we have choices. Our actions are not determined by the stars. Or not, not everything is determined by past karma, even. We have fresh choices every moment. And it's because we have those fresh choices that generosity has meaning, that gratitude has meaning. So we're part of an extended network. In Thailand, I have you think not only about your parents, but also about your teachers. I tried that one time, thinking of all the people I'd had as teachers. Spread goodwill to them. It took all morning. Of course, when you realize how much help you've received, you can, there you can add people whose books you've read that you benefited from, people you've learned from in other ways. You think about this network of goodness, this network of good choices. 
It's what makes human life valuable, bearable even. So do your best to keep it up.